hey folks, I've been working on this little spreadsheet here, which is like a quote that a customer can use to select, say, from a list of items. In this case, it just happens to be meals. They can put in the number of items that they want, and that will give them a uh, total. And it also gives them a bit of a breakdown of, of how that's made up. Now, it's a bit more complicated than just a normal quoting system because um, there's a minimum order involved and there's percentages in, involved and all sorts of things. But the thing that I actually wanted to show you, and I've got an early version, so this is one that I kind of like did earlier, um, was how I got around this thing happening here. All these nasty hash NAs and hash values. And let me tell you, if you've not been, if you've been using Excel for a little time and you've been writing your own formula, you would have come across these things. So I've got some uh, little examples here just to show you in a, in a fairly simple way um, of why this happens. So I'll just explain this shortly, uh, briefly then. I've got two numbers here, and then in these cells here, I've actually got formula. In the first one, it just adds the two values up, so D4 plus E4. Second one divides, minuses, and multiplies. So all well and good. So if I put a number in there, obviously all those other numbers change. If I put something in there, then they do the same thing. But watch what happens if I do say something like this. I've typed a W in there instead of a number and what the formula is saying, hey, hang on a second, I need numbers, not text. So they, you know, they sort of like spit the dummy like this and give you this hash value. So that's the reason why you get those things happening there. Now let me just show you how in this formula here we could actually fix that so that if something went wrong we could put our own message up there. So instead of saying d4, actually I'll just delete it, and instead of saying equals d4 plus e4, I'm going to do, actually I'll just type that in first like that, and then I'm actually going to put this or use this little function here saying is error. Okay, so what this this little function does, it allows me to actually, I'll tell you what, I'll just do the whole thing first and I'll just stop prattling on because I can't talk and type. Can't type. Okay, is that right? I haven't got it quite right yet. D4 plus D. No, 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 no. It's way too brave, way too brave. Is error. Just let me look at my solution. I'm going to cheat. If error, not is error, if error. Oh, oh. Okay. Right, so what I've simply done, instead of saying equals D4 plus E4, I've encapsulated that calculation in a function called if error. And what this if error function does, it simply says, hey, if all is great, then just add D4 to E4 and show me the result. If for some reason that goes wrong, punch in this or do this. So if I put in a W now and I made that, tell you what, I'll just go and make these a little bit smaller. You can see it says please enter numbers only. So what that's done there is this formula then, if error, so if D4 plus E4 is all great, etc, no problem, just do that. Alternatively after the comma it says please enter numbers only if somebody comes along and does something wrong here, i.e. enters something other than a number. So 2 plus 12 is 14, but if I put a number in there, it goes wrong and it says, come on Excel, come on online, do it for me, yes. Please enter numbers only. I'm on, I'm on a, 
Um, broadband here, I can tell you, it's not as fast as it should be. And the reason why that took a little while was it's just delaying a little bit. So, okay, now let's go back to my solution then. And in this solution, so what I've done here, I've got um, these are just all based on a, I can pick from a list. So I've, I've programmed a list in there, the amount. Now these things here, are, this is actually a V lookup. So it goes looking for this value here, and when it finds it, it gives me, um, let's have a look. So it looks for that value in this column here, and when it finds it, it gives me the value from this column. They're pretty involved, these VLOOKUPs, though, but the, the trick is here is that I've put this VLOOKUP inside an IF error statement. So if something goes wrong, it actually doesn't show me anything at all. It just leaves a blank space. So basically, it's kind of like saying here, yeah, something's gone wrong. I can't find this value in your list. But guess what? I'm just going to leave you a blank space and not worry about it because you've written the VLOOKUP function inside the IF error. Um, where else have I used it? Yeah, if there's if this goes wrong here, if the price goes wrong, so I've cap encapsulated all these functions and calculations inside this if error, so it all looks nice and neat. No values, no hash NAs, all those sorts of things keeps it nice and neat. So you're not going to end up with this if there are no values in here you're going to end up with something looks like nice and neat like this. So there you go. That's my little spreadsheet that I've been working on just recently and how I've got rid of all those nasty hash things. <laughs>